สวัสดีครับ I'm JP m e s t a n z a It's Friday, February 3rd. Welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by PVCPhuket.com. The laws regulating e-cigarettes have sparked controversy, prompting a cabinet minister to propose vaping be legalized, while police have launched operations to crack down on the sale of these devices. The move came after a police officer allegedly demanded a foreign tourist pay 60,000 baht for possessing an e-cigarette in Pattaya, triggering a public debate on whether owning vaping devices should be illegal. Critics ask why the devices are so easily available in Thailand if they're against the law. The digital economy and society minister admitted on Thursday that e-cigarettes are popular with certain groups of people in Thailand and are legal in many other countries. He went on to say, "Quote." We should stop pretending vaping has been successfully banned. We're still struggling to deal with the problem. Most importantly, I think vaping should be legalized so the government can collect taxes from e-cigarettes for the benefit of the public. If vaping is decriminalized and related laws are amended to be compatible with people's way of life, this would also help prevent bribery and corruption. The Secretary General of the Thailand Youth Institute said courier firms must be better scrutinized so illegal products cannot be shipped into the country easily. For more, visit the Phuket News dot com. Efforts by two chapters of the Rotary Club in Phuket will see 39 blocks of 3D printed concrete frames installed at an ailing reef off g o l m a i d o n just over eight kilometers southeast of Cape Panwa, to help the corals thrive. The Rotary Club of Patong Beach and the Rotary Club of Mining for Phuket on Wednesday signed a memorandum of understanding to deliver concrete frames to the Phuket Provincial Administration Organization, the PPAO. The project is being funded through the Save Underwater World project, with funds raised by the Rotary Clubs and SCG through an event that took place at Central Floresta Phuket Shopping Mall in October of last year. Rewat Arirob, the president of the PPAO, explained that. The concrete frames will be delivered in three sets and deposited at the reef in a project starting on February 16. The frames have been confirmed and approved by the DMCR to help coral larvae grow and thus help ailing reefs to recover. Following the MOU signing on Wednesday, the Phuket Mining Rotary Club, in collaboration with the Phuket Non-Formal Private Schools Association, gave away 30 helmets to students from schools in Phuket under the club's Save Roads, Save Lives project. For more, visit the Phuket News dot com. Eight human rights and democracy organizations submitted an open letter to the president of the Supreme Court of Thailand on Thursday. Asking it to release detained political activists and to review court regulations on bail conditions. The move came as three detained activists continued to weaken as a result of a hunger strike they've been staging to press for the release on bail of political prisoners. The manager of the Cross Cultural Foundation said there were 16 political prisoners as of January 19th, eight of whom had been prosecuted under the Lese m a j e s t e law, while the rest are awaiting trial. The whole thing was brought to light by a hunger strike by Tantawan t u a t a l a n o n and Orawan Pupong, who are facing royal defamation charges under Section 112 of the Criminal Code for taking a public poll last year about royal motorcades. They went to court on January 16 of this year to request the revocation of their bail as a gesture of solidarity with other detained colleagues. They began their hunger strike two days later. They are currently at t a m a s a t University Hospital, where they are refusing food and most medical intervention. Though they have agreed in recent days to take small amounts of water at the urging of doctors, they, along with another man being held on similar charges and is also on hunger strike, are demanding the release of all political prisoners and the abolition of the lese m a j e s t e and sedition laws. For more, visit the link in the description. Police are trying to track down two suspects who robbed a 7-Eleven store in Baklok. At gunpoint, on the last day the store was to remain open at that location. The robbery took place sometime after 4 a.m., according to police. One man entered the store with a full face helmet on and threatened two female staff inside the 7-Eleven with a homemade firearm, described as a Thai Pradit. The man made off with 1,826 Thai baht in cash from the register, but police say CCTV footage clearly captured the images of the robber. And the motorbike used, as well as his accomplice. 
Police are now trying to track down the route the men took to flee the scene. The robbery took place on the last day the store was to remain trading at this site in Paklok. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. Thanks so much for joining us on this Friday edition of Phuket Extra, brought to you by pvcphuket.com. Have a great weekend out there. We'll see you back on Monday. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as $75,000 US dollars, and luxury properties can go all the way up to $20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure bricks and mortar investment, offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential. Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor to find your perfect Phuket property.